Another day, another piece of controversy within the Fortnite community, this time because Epic Games has a little bit of an update on what's going to actually happen with Disney. And to be honest with you, I have very conflicting feelings on it. I don't have a very, very strong stance. So today, I wanted to give my thoughts on everything about with the new Disney statements. I'm going to bring you to various leakers, by the way. I think Hypex, Fire Monkey, and Shinna all had something different to say, which is very helpful to be honest with you but there is more about this permanent disney collab that's coming to fortnite i'm going to show you all of those i'm going to react to it and then we're going to get a community consensus about it taking a look at what people had to say about this we're going to get into all of that in just a second before we do though i do want to say hello everybody and welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is kyle i am your guy with many youtube channels guys sorry if you can hear my deep breathing fall allergies still here i'm ready to personally blow my brains out but Hopefully, it doesn't absolutely ruin your viewing experience. So, let me bring you to the Disney news first. Hypex had this to say, new Fortnite x Disney statements. Disney wants a grand, persistent universe in Fortnite. Not all outfits will be able to do everything like holding guns. This is all of Disney to make what every Disney fan has ever wanted. To be honest with you, I don't understand that third part, but the big controversy is, of course, not all outfits will be able to do everything like holding guns, but I'm going to wait to talk about it. I'm going to tell you the rest of the piece of news. So Hypex had an additional quote from Epic on the second statement. Brands should be able to enforce the brand guidelines to the degree that they're comfortable with that brand being associated with particular ratings. So understandable, but we'll get a little bit more into it. Fire Monkey had this to say, more Disney X Fortnite news via Drew Disney Dude and Verge. According to Disney and Epic Games, Disney wants a persistent place where all things in Disney can be in Fortnite. Disney mentions that not every outfit will be able to do everything. A Lego minifigure doesn't hold a gun. Brands should be able to enforce the brand guidelines to the degree that they're comfortable with that brand being associated with particular things. It's one of those partnerships that you can only wish for. This is all of Disney, and this is all in for both companies to make what every Disney fan has ever wanted. So a little bit more of what Hypex said over there. And Shinna, lastly, that we have for you about the entire announcement. Disney will seemingly have its own app and access point that you can use to enter the Disney Fortnite universe. Of course, you can also launch a game through regular Fortnite as reported by The Verge. So, there's a lot to unpack there, okay? What Shinna had to say where it's going to have their own app with Disney, that kind of makes sense. What I kind of see happening down the road is, do you guys remember, and I forget what the actual, like, mechanic is called within a game, but kind of like in 2019 when we were watching the World Cup in Fortnite, you could play Fortnite and have that World Cup also on your screen watching it real time. I know that we were where Epic Games was working on having like Instagram and TikTok there. So if this is also like being able to watch Disney movies, I could see that being the click case. But the biggest thing to take away from this, the biggest thing is the Disney characters might not be able to hold guns. And what does that mean? Of course, they're not going to be allowed to be used in Battle Royale. I imagine before everybody starts coming down below saying, well, what's the point? Fortnite's a shooting game, Fortnite's a Battle Royale game. Are you only going to use it for festival? That's understandable for everybody to say, but as time goes on, as the metaverse continues, as Disney actually releases their own mode, there are going to be more modes for these characters to be used in, or at least I would imagine that to be the case. My initial thought on this, okay, is of course these companies can do what they want, but I really, really, really don't like this. I don't know about you guys, and I would love for you to comment down below and let me know, because like I said, I don't have too strong of a stance for this one. I have very conflicting feelings. Doesn't this kind of go against the metaverse a little bit? The idea of the Finite and Fortnite, the idea of Donald Mustard's playground where you can just have all of your favorite characters and do all of these things within Fortnite. And the reason that I'm kind of having conflicting feelings on this is because I'm like, I, I, in, my, in my brain, I'm like, okay, what if Epic Games, why wouldn't they just be like, all right, well, what are you doing? Of course your characters, if you're collaborating with us, if you're bringing your skins to the game, of course they're going to hold guns. That's what's going to happen. That's what Fortnite is. I understand they're trying to make something more than just a battle royale, but... If they really start gatekeeping, like, what specific modes you can use that in, that's something that I actually can see affecting sales. But again, I know that Epic Games has been known to make things work. So that's kind of, like, where I actually am conflicted on all of this. But then again, like I said, the idea that you wouldn't be able to use these skins in the entirety of Fortnite really, really makes me kind of disconnected from really liking Donald Mustard's idea because again, Donald Mustard's idea was you can use your favorite characters like you used to be able to on an old playground. I know kids can't relate to that nowadays, but that was kind of the idea for the Fortnite metaverse and all these collaborations. You can also say things like, okay, well, you can't use the Lego figures in anything but Lego. And I imagine same thing with the Disney mode. Let's say it's like some Disney Infinity type mode. Yeah, you can only use the characters there, but it just... It's so unappealing to me, but then again, 
what if people really, really like the new Disney mode? Then they wouldn't hesitate to buy these new skins. Do you guys understand kind of what I'm getting at here and why I'm so conflicted on this? Epic Games probably can make this work. I highly doubt it will sell as much as regular skins, but I also understand that Epic Games has just been bought out a little bit by Disney and if Disney wants to collaborate with you more, that means a lot more money. Before you hit me in the comment section with the greedy billion dollar company thing, think about if you were Tim Sweeney, what would you be doing maximizing profit? I think you're being dishonest if you are saying anything otherwise. And I mean, there are some people out there that definitely would do that because I think it's personally a good idea to just say, hey, out of here. But <laughs> is it really a good idea? No, I, I think that like there are always exceptions to the rule. But again, you get what I'm saying. I understand that Epic Games would want to do whatever Disney wants, and also, like, <laughs> in saying this, Epic Games has been known to make things work, but Disney getting their fingers on something has been known to make things not work, so who's gonna come out on top here? That's why I'm very, very worried about this, and I don't understand why Epic Games just doesn't do what they did with Nintendo. I understand Disney is a bigger collaboration, but wouldn't Nintendo kind of be, like, not equal, but I would imagine if, like, they're catering to Disney and doing what Disney wants, why wouldn't they do the same thing for Nintendo? Because if you guys remember back in the day, what Nintendo wanted, supposedly, what Nintendo wanted was they wanted their characters to only be used by players on Nintendo Switch. They didn't want their characters going anywhere else. And Epic went, no, the whole point of Fortnite is to have everybody be able to use their favorite character in whatever they want. This is where I have a problem with it. It's kind of against that same vision. It's why I'm not against the metaverse too. That was part of for uh, Donald Mustard's vision. I enjoy Donald Mustard's vision. This is a little bit of a slippery slope. What if more companies start collaborating with, collaborating with Epic Games and have even more restrictions on their skins? I think it's a door they're opening that, again, is a slippery slope, but it all could work out. And this could affect very, very few characters. Like, I imagine the characters that Disney doesn't want <laughs> is Elsa holding a gun, is someone like Rapunzel holding a gun. The Incredibles are obviously okay, so... I would imagine this wouldn't affect too many skins, but it really, really, I, I don't have a good feeling about this one, guys. And, of course, it's not about just what I think. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments, and we're going to take a look at what some of the top replies were. I actually looked at the Explore page today, and it was actually pretty helpful. Clark was at the top of the Explore page, which was pretty fun. So comment down below what you think about all of this. Is there anything that you agreed or disagreed on? We're going to take a look at what people had to say about this, guys. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. Let's start off with Happy Power. Garbage, honestly. Fortnite is a gun game in case Disney wasn't aware. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too early to say that, like, well, it doesn't make sense for Disney to come in and, and put their skins in a gun game and say, hey, those skins can't use guns. I'm sure there are bigger plans for that whole Disney game that Epic Games is working on, right? But it, that response is also completely understandable, okay? Sizzo had this to say about the situation. I'm sorry, but if Epic are okay with this, then I think they've genuinely lost the plot. Fortnite already has a dedicated and massive community, as is a majority of which are already fans of Disney IPs. Using the excuse of catering to Disney fans as a way to sell skins that you can't even use in BR is not only completely backwards, but also completely alienates the Fortnite community from both Epic Games and Disney, and gives them both the impression that they are not interested in getting Disney fans to play their game, and not the community that they've built up for the last seven years. I get Disney wants to protect the image of their characters, but Fortnite has always been a wacky and zany game where all your favorite characters fight it out to the last one standing, which is a reason why everyone likes it. Limiting player experiences for purchasing your products isn't going to give people the incentive to want to continue playing the game. I promise you no sane person is going to get upset about a Disney princess firing an M16 at another player in a game centered around all of these popular IPs. Okay, I was about to stop there, and because I just remembered something else that I wanted to say, but we're going to continue with this. In fact, I'd argue most people would find it funny and buy the skins mainly for that reason without getting butthurt about it. It's actually a good point. I would so buy a Rapunzel skin just to have her box somebody up and 200 pump somebody. At the end of the day, it's Disney's IP, so they can do whatever they want with it. But if they go do down this route of adding characters which limit what games you can play, it's not really not going to sit well with the community and will probably lead to people having second thoughts about the whole Disney and Epic thing. That's just my opinion, though. That's where I'm at. I'm now having second thoughts of this. Actually, it's not really second thoughts because when they got announced, I was like, okay, skins can be super cool, but I don't want Disney's fingers anywhere near Fortnite. I believe I said that exact thing whenever Disney first started announcing that they were coming to Epic Games. But that's actually interesting because it reminded me of something that I forgot to mention, and I don't understand why Epic Games can't implement the whole age rating thing. Like, if you're under 18 or under whatever age it is, like under 13, whatever Disney wants to do, just have it so you can click off, like, ugh, I can't remember what the first one's for, man, it's escaping my memory, but you could 
censor the offensive skins or censor the Disney skins so any kid playing the game won't see Elsa in the game using a firework gun or whatever they don't want to see or using a kinetic blade. <laughs> it makes sense, but that way it would just show up as a default skin. Would that help? But of course, I would imagine the reason is Epic Games, or I mean, Disney doesn't want <laughs> any of their IPs being shared anywhere with like any sorts of means because you know how the online fan base can see. But it was very well said by Sezo, guys. Vortex Lore had this to say. Not all outfits will be able to hold guns. Also, Disney wanting a grand persistent universe in Fortnite better not affect the storyline. This is also something that I was incredibly worried about. Disney being part of the Fortnite storyline. Have you not seen what they've done to Marvel? Have you not seen what they've done to Star Wars? Okay. I'm asking you not to take me out of context in saying that because you can definitely go down a path that I am not speaking of. I'm speaking strictly on storytelling. Okay. But I never thought about this. And it's very, very worrying. The storyline's good right now. I don't want a let it go mini event. I don't want anything like that. If Disney has some sort of Big Bang live event, I am not here for it. It will be worse than the Big Bang. At least we got Eminem, like, and, like, uh, him giant throwing down some cities or something like that. Anyways, FNDM HQ had this to say, The more I hear about this, the more it feels like they're telling Epic to remake Club Penguin Island in Unreal Engine. Pray this doesn't have a monthly subscription to play mini games and buy skins. Wouldn't really shock me. The new terms of service for Epic Games is going to be like, hey, if you end up dying, everything will be okay. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what that Disney Plus terms of service was, but you guys get what I'm talking about. Raheed Fortnite had this to say, Fortnite can try all they want to make their game more than a BR, but it won't work. That's not what we want. These modes are only prohibiting BR from improving. This is not the case. This is a common argument that you typically see. It may not be what you want, but there are a lot of people enjoying the new modes, and like we've talked about so many times, they're... It, 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 all the new modes are in their infancy. Give them a little bit of time. They are not dead. There was a reply to that particular tweet saying this. It's not always about what you want. You have to take into the fact that Epic Games is a business. They are making a side game modes for a target audience. If you do not like it, you are not the audience. It's almost too simple, isn't it? <laughs> like, I don't understand why, why people don't understand that part, to be honest with you. It's fine not to like it. That's totally understandable, right? Especially if after listening to Donald Mustard and saying, hey, They've taken resources away from the live event. But Fortnite is still thriving, and anybody thinking otherwise is just flat out incorrect. I wanted to include this one because I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I don't know why. Disney, after buying out a gun game, it was not allowing their skins to have guns. If you guys, I would love to know what you're what you think about this down below because I'm always open for constructive criticism on the channel. If you want me to incorporate a little bit like more funny tweets that I see or some memes, typically like it's about the conversation, but if I wanted to include some of these every once in a while, let me know what you would think about that. Is that something that you would like in the channel moving forward? We do have more tweets to talk about, though. Like I said, Clark was at the top of the Explore page. We're going to take a look at his next, but I want to stop you really quick, guys. If you do not have a supporter creator code that you are already using, please consider using code CLEN. As you guys know, I recently just started a family and doing everything I can to keep my wife and my kid at home, which has been the best part of my entire life. I'm, I have never been happier than having these two at home. So every little piece of support helps. If you do not have a supporter creator code you're using, please consider using code CLEN. Thank you to everybody who's using it. You are helping me so, so much, guys. Let's continue on to Mysterio Medallion. Disney doesn't want their characters to hold guns. VR has guns. Creative has guns. Lego has... Has guns? Am I dumb? Did they add guns? Regardless, Rocket Racing, no outfits. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is what I was talking about. Like, this is an understandable first reaction for everybody to have, but I'm sure that there will be more modes down the line, and there's probably going to be some Unreal Engine, like, map builder thing that they're going to come up with. Hey, make your best Disney mode where you don't have to hold guns, things like that. And I would imagine that there's going to be some promoted islands. So game modes are probably coming regardless. Let's continue on to what Clark Clint had to say. Yeah, no, Disney needs to stay in their own lane. Most of us are coming to Fortnite to shoot things. If you bring Cinderella in, I should be able to 360 no scope, full box, one pumper as her. That's like literally the best part though. I want to use these ridiculous Disney characters and do the fun stuff that I do in Fortnite. That's the best part about Fortnite. That was Donald Mustard's vision that I so wholeheartedly agree with. We could have only, we, we would have killed to have this back in the day, man. But I agree. I agree for the most part over there. I like the memes, but I do understand the business side of things. Anyways, there is another post kind of showing what I would really, really like to see. I need this, please. And it's Elsa holding a pump shotgun. Dude, I hate Frozen. I hate Let It Go. I hate a movie. I hate every single thing that there is to hate about Frozen. My wife literally just showed our daughter Frozen for the first time, and she liked it. And I'm like, I was, I came home from work, and I was watching her watch Frozen, and she's doing this. 
I'm like, great. Am I going to have to listen to like, let it go? Like, oh, <laughs> man. But anyways, I, my point in saying that was I really hate Frozen. I would buy Elsa if I could do this stuff. Just like Sizzo said earlier, people will buy your skins just to meme them. People bought Mrs. Incredible just for her ass. I think there's a lot of money that definitely could be made here. Like, there are more characters like that, too. Like, the mom from Big Hero 6. Could you imagine such an insignificant character? Drop her in Epic Games. Profit. Completely. Disney, you might like that, too. But anyways, I, would, I don't think they would shy at adding Big Hero 6, but they definitely wouldn't add the mom. But huge missed opportunity. Okay. Brandon Ray had this to say. I think they might be referring to characters like Stitch, Remy, or Lightning McQueen. I forgot about this tweet. I forgot about this tweet. I, I wanted to mention that earlier. Obviously, you won't be able to hold any guns as Remy or Lightning McQueen. One is too small and one is a car. If this is what they mean, then that's awesome. That's awesome. I don't see... Uh, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't make Stitch a skin unless there's like... No, I was trying to think if there's some adult Stitch, but regardless. Things like Lightning McQueen. If that's what they're talking about, which I never really thought of, that's maybe what they could mean. They could mean both things, <laughs> right? I, if I had to assume, then I'm talking about like Disney's hardcore characters like... Mickey Mouse will never have a gun, but then again, we see that in South Park, and it worked out great. I would buy Mickey Mouse, and then I'd walk around, like, his mannerisms in Mickey House. Be like, oh, 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 who are you going to shoot at? Oh, 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 throw some tomatoes at the down guy. Oh, oh, you're, you're dead, man. But hey, you know what? We might be go getting all up in arms for no reason, because they, they could just mean, literally, they don't want cars holding guns, okay? Hypex also had something to say about the situation. To be honest, it's understandable on some characters, but also, if that Disney Universe mode they're working on is not worth playing, then those outfits will literally be useless to most people. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good point, but... I do understand Disney's perspective from this. I just don't think that it's something Epic Games should entertain. Like I said, I believe it personally to be a slippery slope to make the community very unhappy. Now, I know the community is typically unhappy, but they would be justifiably unhappy this time around, guys. I would love to know what you think about everything down below. The conversation does not have to end here. We just had a huge video talking about recent drama within the Fortnite community. You should check it out right here, guys, if you want to keep watching the channel. Take care, guys.